What's up everybody, Everything Apple Pro here, and just a day after iOS 4.3.4, you can now jailbreak your iPhone 4, 3GS, iPod Touch 4th and 3rd gens, and the original iPad on 4.3.4. Now we're going to be using Red Snow 0.9.8 Beta 3, both for Mac and Windows, and this is a tethered jailbreak, meaning if your battery dies or you turn off your device, you will need a computer to reboot it, or else you'll be stuck on the Apple logo. And no, I don't recommend that anyone update to 4.3.4 if you're on any lower firmware because for one it is the tether jailbreak and that's very inconvenient and there will not be an untethered jailbreak for a while so stay where you're at on your firmware and if you have an iPad 2 this jailbreak does not work yet because it took a long time to find an untethered jailbreak on 4.3.3 and it'll take just as long to find another one on the newer firmware so if you guys did update to 4.3.4 whether you knew or not that there is no no untethered jailbreak it is a temporary solution but when an untethered jailbreak is out and if you happen to watch this video at that time I will put an annotation right there so go ahead and click on it for an untethered jailbreak all right then so let's go ahead and get started on your desktop you're gonna need two things red snow 0.9.8 beta 3 as well as your 4.3.4 IPSW firmware file okay go ahead and plug in your device and run red snow now if you're on a Windows computer I'd recommend you write Right click and run as administrator if you guys are having any kind of problems with red snow on a windows pc because i know many of you guys will be sure to read the description and the article down below because it will tell you guys how to fix that but okay so we're going to browse for our firmware 4.3.4 it's going to process it and click next and it's going to patch the kernel okay and i'm going to move this aside all right, now I already have install Cydia and enable battery percentage selected, so I'm gonna keep it as it is and click next. And now we're gonna turn off our device. Okay, we're gonna click next. And as soon as we do this, we're gonna be putting our device into DFU mode. So we're gonna press power for three, two, one, together with the home button for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four three two one let go of the power button and keep holding the home button and our device is going to enter dfu mode in just a second so there we go and you'll see the white screen that's perfectly normal so give it about five ten minutes and your device will be jailbroken i'll be right back okay and my ipod touch has rebooted after the jailbreak so on our springboard we're going to have cydia and if you try to open it of course it will crash and that's because this is a tethered jailbreak and what i'm about to show you is what you have to do every single time your battery dies or you reboot your device so on your computer open up red snow browse for your firmware we're pretty much doing the same thing we did before, except we're choosing a different option this time. Okay, and this time we're just gonna select Just Boot Tethered right now, click Next, put your device into DFU mode, and I'm gonna do it real quick. Just hold Home and Power, and let go of the Power button, and keep holding the Home button. And once this is done, I'll be right back. Okay, and once again my iPod Touch has rebooted, but this time Cydia opens. And you guys are now jailbroken on iOS 4.3.4. So thanks for watching this video guys, really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Please rate this video and comment. So enjoy the jailbreak guys, I will post a video as soon as I can when the untethered jailbreak is released.